Hi, my name's Doug. And my name's Kevin. And here's what's going on in our latest key update. So first up, as you're watching this, hopefully uh, we'll have lots of our young people on the road to Letton Hall and they are going for their youth weekend away. So please do be praying for them. Guy has sent out an email this morning uh, about some of the things that you can pray for. Given the weather, do pray for the weather. Uh, pray that they're able to get some good time outside together tomorrow, at least tomorrow uh, and Sunday. Also pray for a safe journey up there this evening. So do be praying for them. It's going to be a great weekend. They've got lots um, in store for them. Lots of things prepared. Also pray for mum and dad at home because I imagine that there is going to be a few mum and dads a little bit nervous. First time away from the family and all those kinds of things. So uh, just pray that it's a really great, great weekend. And most importantly, Importantly, that these young people just go that little bit step further in their walk with Jesus this weekend. So do be praying for them. And on the topic of prayers, tomorrow we are getting together for the rugby. I will be praying. <laughs> So we've decided to open up uh, the England versus South Africa match on the big screen here at church. So please do join us. It will be 7.45. I think we'll be all going. We're going to have some uh, pork sausages for the Brits, some bourrevos rolls for the South Africans, and uh, we'll share in that time together. Yeah, and if you really want to see me cry, probably that's the time to come. <laughs> you see behind us, we've got the lights all ready for celebration. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been practicing our cheering, so it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, do come along. That it's a nice, safe environment for the family to come. So it's not just limited to men. Yeah, uh, do do just uh, come along and uh, join with us. It'll be a really great time together. Uh, speaking of family time, on Sunday we have our all-age service. Because uh, lots of the youth team are away, uh, we're taking the opportunity to have an all-in Sunday where we, we learn some things together and me and Charlie are going to be leading that this Sunday. Do come along to that. It is always really wonderful for us to learn from each other. We, we pride ourselves on being an intergenerational church and this is a real great moment for us to learn together uh, as we hear some of the truth about the things that Jesus said we continue this series of the way of Jesus. So come and join us for 9.30 for coffee, tea and breakfast bits and pieces yeah, uh, and then our service is from 10 o'clock. Slightly shorter service uh, but it will be a real great time to be together so do come and join us for that. And it's a perfect opportunity to launch our Operation Christmas Child Absolutely. this week. So we've got our boxes. Uh, please do pick up one and pack them. There are packing instructions on the box. And just to show you, here's a little something prepared earlier. Thanks to <laughs> like <blue> Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Kathy's already delivered hers. You've got a couple of weeks. Those uh, collections are due in by the 12th of November. So you've got less than a month to uh, pick out your presents and pack them. So click those starting this Sunday. Yeah, we were a little bit slow to the, the party this time, but we do hope that you'll take away one of those boxes and that you can bless uh, a child living in poverty across the world. So do, do uh, pick up one of those on Sunday uh, and they'll be available to pick up at all times uh, whilst the church is open in the lead up uh, to that deadline. Uh, so do make sure that you pick one of those up. Uh, we've also got, uh, think, speaking of Christmas, we're getting into Christmas. It's already. mad, we're yeah. not even like halfway through October and we're thinking of Christmas, but we've got the Christmas craft fair that is happening uh, at Coffee at Key yeah, uh, get your presents next early. Saturday. So yeah, get your presents early, get really well organised so you don't have to do anything, you just have to sit back and yeah, relax over the Christmas period. Uh, but uh, as has been shared over the last couple of weeks, uh, Coffee at Key is going to be a slightly longer session this um, Saturday, this next Saturday should I say, uh, and that is for from 10 till 3 o'clock uh, so yeah do come along support Macmillan Cancer Research as well as part of that make your cup of coffee go the extra mile uh, but also pick up some things for Christmas uh, in preparation for that. That's it and because it's a longer time period we're going to need a lot more cake so I do know that if you can bake even if you can't bake this is time to get out a good recipe and uh, do bring it along please see uh, Mark or Jane and just uh, commit to them that you're going to bring something along so that they know what uh, is going to be provided and then uh, we've got uh, one of our big family events of the year is the light party that's on the 31st of this month so it's approaching fast that's our Halloween alternative mm. for um, children and their families so it's 
uh, primary school going children and their siblings. So please come along for that. This year they're adding pumpkin carving into the mix so you can really get festive with that. Uh, there'll be the regular sweets and so nobody will miss out and you come in your brightest colours. Mm. So that's going to be fantastic. Just to help us know who's coming, please do sign up and you can sign up at hopewoodbridge.org.uk. If you go there it will link you through to the sign up page. So just list how many children you're bringing along and then we can make sure we've got enough for everybody. Yeah, it's going to be a really great time for that. So do make sure you sign up. It's that time of the week. Kevin, I've been, been giving some thought to this. Given, given that it is the rugby, uh, a rugby player goes to the doctors and he says to the doctor... It's very unlike a rugby player. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but he goes to the doctors and he says, oh, doctor, I, I seem to have... Whenever I touch my arm or my leg or my head, it hurts. And the doctor says to him, it's because you've broken your finger. <laughs> They're not getting any better. They're though. not getting any better, are they? <laughs> <laughs> we hope to see you at some point this weekend. Have a great week, everybody, and stay safe with all this wet weather. And see you tomorrow night for the rugby. All <laughs> greens are welcome. Mikey, you can wear your green. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>